What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Carly Shay. Um, and I did not brush my hair today, but it's fine. I don't I don't care. I'm tired. Um, so a lot of people have been requesting Patrice O'Neill and I found a video of him destroying a feminist and I thought that'd be a really fun video to watch. So that's what we're gonna get into today. So let's see what he's got to say. <laughs> Gonna be an interesting one. So next up on the chopping block, XM satellite radio DJs Opie and Anthony, they're under fire now for airing joking comments about raping Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Oh, Will Lord. they be the next to go? Is radio I hope JV oh, stop supporting negative for radio now. New the Imus debacle. Okay, With me now, go. New City President now. New city president Sonia Osario. She took part in a recent protest calling for radio stations to so stop supporting negative language in music and talk radio. And also, our music favorite stand up comic, radio? Patrice O'Neill. Oh, thank you, sir. Patrice, uh, or Owen. By the way, sorry, it's really bad quality. Uh, kind of the best I can do because it's an older video, but oh well. You just listen. Hey, next. I hope not. I hope JV, I wish JV and I was in losing job or Imus. It's funny. This is the thing. I, I have. I don't know her, but I'm. A, I'm assuming that she has nothing to do with funny. So I'm gonna speak as the expert on funny. Funny people should just be left to trying to be funny. What if, what if they're not funny? Then you made a mistake. But how many? Listen. How many times has an unfunny? How many? F unfunny rape jokes lead to rape. Like you know, I don't know how many jokes about rape there are. There's a lot, but your your world is not funny. Your world is uh, <laughs> next <laughs> next on the big. Your world is uh, oh my gosh. He <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my world is people trying laughing. to be funny. Well, I mean, you you think it's okay to try to make jokes about rape? I'm diabetic. I make fun of that. I'm a victim. I might lose a toe. But I'm trying to make fun of I'm trying to make fun of anything I, I think I can make fun of. <laughs> Sonia? You know, oh, God. What's happening now is the marketplace. Okay. Is deciding what's appropriate or what's not appropriate. It's, I think the nation is just tired. It's a joke. Jokes are not always appropriate. That's what makes them funny. Tired. There's a new mood in the nation. What nation? The nation, you know what? We're tired of things that is are just Is this the nation, this paper, and you? I'm, the, I'm not the nation. I'm just speaking for me and funny. <laughs> You're speaking for the nation or are you speaking for? Yeah, you know why? Because I remember six years ago doing a something against Anthony Openey because they were just so outrageous and their violent images to that you. they put out to women was just uncalled for. And now, now, I think people... Do you think they were trying to be funny? I think now people in Do this country are tired. Do you think they were trying to be are funny? Tired. You know what? I don't care if they were trying to be funny. That's what I'm saying. Why something. are you Jeez. in that business? I've been to your show once and it wasn't very funny being a woman. It was hilarious. Show, when you talked about... That's why she doesn't like me. I was in the paper with her. Oh my gosh, she tried to go off on him. She said, you know what? I've been to your show, and it wasn't that funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I have to know what he says back. And the joke is hilarious, called the Angry Pirate. And the lady who wrote it in, the, in her outrage didn't even know what it meant. And anybody who read it laughed, because they know what funny... You're not living in the context of funny. You're living All in the context of have, fire. have every right to be as funny as they want. They can go out and try to be as funny as they want, make as much funny, make as much money being as funny as they want. This is what's happening. There is a change in this country. People are realizing they it's have an opportunity to speak out. And advertisers are listening. You're Radio not talking. Stations you're are not listening. talking. You're, Sonia, you're not talking and, to who I talk and to. And you're not going to get paid as much money anymore. Sonia and Patrice, That's look what at it this. Is. The marketplace. More is CBS speaking. radio firings. They've been on. The, they've been on a tear lately. All right. Are they cleaning house or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. <laughs> you know what it is. Why you reading that paper? It's the PC cops. Run amok. Do well, you think Who's she's a PC, PC cop? cop? Of course she is. She's she has an entire encyclopedia of, of her stance on it, but it's no passion involved. It's not a real this is just what she has to say. We are outraged and oh, fired and fired fool. and fired. <laughs> Name calling. I'm he's outraged. I am I'm, outraged. You should, be. you should be outraged. I am a fool. Now if I called you a fool, ah You know what? People are feeling Dang, he is going off and it's so freaking true it's like she could be as rude to him as she wants but if he were to say anything like that to her 
God forbid, people would lose it. A new sense of entitlement. Who are these to people in this country? Who are the people? A new How can sense you, of entitlement Patricia? Here's what. Decency. Here's my question. Who are the people? How can you justify a bad joke, a joke that isn't funny? Oh wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Go ahead. An attempt that isn't funny, doesn't get any laughs, and is about raping a the first black woman to ever become the Secretary of State well, of the United States. You throw that at me. Well, why the, not? The, the attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. The joke may or may, funny jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. They, you, you don't know if anything is going to be funny. You should attempt don't to be you, able to make anything funny. Don't you think a joke about rape is doomed to be not funny? It's possible, but I've heard them. I've heard You've them. heard a funny rape joke? Uh, I say a couple. Watch my HBO special. I'm pretty good at it. Oh yeah, Patrice, will, Patrice says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you Wrong. Hit, her in the, hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's a jack. He said you're botching it. You don't say it right. Ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin <laughs> as she walks no, around no, like, no. arg, it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's no. what she was he trying said, to say. a violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body. It's called the donkey up, punch. Which will then. Why are you laughing? She's outraged. It's called the donkey punch. It's whole humor that she has oh, no clue what it have is. You have the same problem that Opie and Anthony does. You can't say just anything on the air. You can say anything you want. It might not be funny. You might get in trouble for it, but you should be able to be attempting. And plus, when is a crazy bum going to get an opportunity to rape the president? If the, the president's wife, John? It Why was trying it to be funny. All right, Patrice. And I definitely see where he's coming. Like, he's talking about like the attempt and it's just like I feel like there's so many comedians nowadays and they're terrified to say anything even if it was funny because they're gonna get canceled or PC culture is going to cancel them um and I think he's like calling it as it is he's saying like you should at least try to be funny especially with hard things like People make jokes about themselves going through hard things, and it's funny because it's real and it's relatable. Like I don't, I don't know about the whole rape joke and stuff like that. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I think it was funny. I don't know if I wouldn't. Um, but I definitely wouldn't be upset at a comedian trying to make a joke because they're a comedian and they're not condoning these things they're not saying hey you should go out and do that like I don't know I don't know what my thoughts are on that but I'm definitely not I'm mad at him why aren't I hearing Al Sharpton complain about this thing involving because it wasn't involving uh, young uh, black women well it's involving a very prominent black woman well where was she during during young black everybody has their agenda I was there I was there oh, I'm sorry yeah All right excuse me you well, know why what? am I not hearing from Sharpton because it doesn't concern him it's not concerning him. It's black. It's, you know, come on now. You know Al, ha Al Sharpton has his agenda, and it was perfect for Al. Young black women. And now she's representing just women in general. She's not representing the nappy hoe part. She's well, representing the, just the hoe. The nappy-headed part, she has nothing to do with. Just the hoe. Oh, Patrice. So, yeah. You know what? Women have been abused publicly in the media for too long and people are tired Not of it. Anymore. This has been a beautiful response of just the general public saying to advertisers, we're your consumers, we don't want to have to avoid everything in the street. We don't want to have to worry about what radio station we turn on and there is some really derogatory, violent You're gonna thing. In other words, I'm offended by everything, therefore I don't want anything that I may disagree with. Cancel the whole world. It's to All deal your with. information, uh, ma'am, is secondhand from someone making you uh, aware that someone may said something that you should be upset about. It's a shame. Your constituency, the, the people you represent aren't all victims in this matter. Go. Patricia O'Neill, thank it's you very much. Sonia, Patricia, sorry, oh, thanks to both of you. Uh, the producer in the background is like, cut it, cut it, end it, end it now. <laughs> Appreciate it. Time for big politics. All right, so that, that was Patrice O'Neill. Um, what a guy. He's definitely funny. He definitely got some good laughs out of me. He definitely got some really good points in there too. Uh, I definitely agree with a lot of what he said. 
Um, and I hope you guys did too, because he's really funny. <laughs> um, but that, thank you for requesting Patrice O'Neill. I'll definitely be reacting to some more of his stuff soon. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. All right, bye.